Eu quero a minha vida como ela é Como o povo sabe como chora o pé Hello everyone, my name is Rafa and this is Christina Hi. and this is Fred This is Fred the cello Don't you dare call him the cello No, it's just, it's Fred Fred, exactly yeah. And um, so Christina uh, played in our, in our uh, wedding by the way So we did a small song by the end of the wedding thing Yeah, at the end of the ceremony uh, By Clarice Falcão was... Um, what's the name? Uh, eu me lembro. Eu me lembro. <laughs> <laughs> eu não me lembro. Eu me lembro. The name of the song is Eu me lembro. And there's a bit of a, with a cello. Yeah. And she played and it was beautiful. And everyone's, everyone was like, wow. And yeah, you can also see a little bit of this moment now. <laughs> And I found out that Christina knows a bit more than Brazilian music that I do. <laughs> Why? How come? Uh, when I moved back to London a few years ago, I discovered Forró. And there is a really big Forró community in London. And so I started dancing Forró. I learned how to dance. <laughs> um, and then I started listening to a lot of music from Brazil. Like the cello, is, is, is common here to play with the cello in Forró? Uh, no, <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, there is a, a wonderful lady called Agnieszka um, who plays the cello with Forró. Mm. And I saw a few of her videos when she was in Brazil mm. and I just thought it was amazing. And uh -huh. she really inspired me to try and play Forró on the cello. And you, you, and you do? I do, yes. Can I do a little yeah. bit of one song? <laughs> okay, this is a song by Mahin, it's called Giza Bafu. Okay. Wow! Because <laughs> you, you said there's a bit of a forró thing going on in, Holland, in London. Yeah. Do you know places? That, can you recommend places for oh. people to go and dance forró? Yeah, um, we're lucky in London because we can dance forró almost every day of the week. <laughs> <laughs> So we have Forho Family is on a Saturday and that's in Exmouth Market. Um, we have a lot on Facebook as well. If you put Forho London, we have a group. Okay. Uh, Wednesdays is a great night as well. It's at Juju's Bar in Corbett Place. That's called Forho Brincado. Forho. <laughs> <laughs> we have Forho Foundations as well. They do Tuesdays and Sundays every month with live music. Oh, cool. And, yeah. and did they do you telling us uh, uh, jam sessions where you go and play? So, yeah, jam sessions is something that I started with my friends who I've met at Forho. And it's for people who, who play for fun. We're, mm -hmm. not, we're not professionals, really. Uh, okay. <laughs> but we gather together and we play lots of Forho. Also things like samba, shoru. It's really a free-for-all. So we play lots of different styles. Yeah, yeah. cool. And, and <laughs> do you, because um, I'm sure some people might ask this samba i think is more popular that people know this exists but for her do people in england they know or is absolutely not no, no. if you say for her they say for what <laughs> 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 and it's difficult to pronounce it took me quite a long time yeah <laughs> to say for her yeah and you, you, you did it <laughs> pretty well like half <laughs> it took me time yeah you say half half so you've been to brazil yeah i've been to brazil twice and um almost more than me <laughs> <laughs> uh, the first time i went it was actually it was actually for music but it was for bossa nova because mm. um, i studied how to sing jazz mm. and for our jazz standards there are a few bossa nova songs by jobin uh, so that was really my first introduction into brazilian music apart from london mm. there is another uh, other places i can imagine in england like you're telling me about uh, brighton Yes, absolutely. There was like it was a festival. Yeah, so we have two festivals in the UK. One in um, August, which is in a field just outside of London, mm -hmm. for Hoffest UK, 
Um, and then also in Brighton this year, we had Shamegal Festival, which was the first time we've had it. Um, mm -hmm. And it was so fun. We had we were dancing on the bandstand by the beach, Aww. and the weather was glorious. Oh, <laughs> good. See, even even the weather came from Brazil to be part. It of really did. It really <laughs> did. Um, I've also been in. Well, I travel a lot for work, mm -hmm. and since I've learned for her, it's so good because when I go to Edinburgh, then I can dance for her, and I have friends I can go and see. <laughs> um, same in Dublin. There's lots of for in Dublin as well. Um, even in Oxford, in Cambridge. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, yeah, nice, good to know. We have no idea at all that it was, was like a thing going on in Britain and not just between Brazilians but also like spreading to other cultures. That's oh, so nice. Absolutely. And about um, the cultures of Brazil and the English, what is the uh, most um, important point in the Brazilian culture there, like Corti? Everyone's very relaxed. Mm. <laughs> They're like, oh, don't worry, we'll do it another time. <laughs> Just everyone does what they want and they don't worry about what other people are thinking. They just they just go for it. I love that. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> and the time, because we have, I don't know if you know this, but in Brazil we have this thing about the time. Like in, Brit in Britain, everyone is on time, always on time, always on time. Do, do you agree with this? Like that in Britain, Everyone is on time, and in Brazil is all also like, oh, let's meet at five o'clock, and everyone turns up to seven. Yeah, I learned this the hard way because my Ooh. first ever Forró festival, it said it started at seven, so I got there at seven, and I was the only person for about an hour. <laughs> and uh, and if the song that you usually on jam sessions, the one that catches people, like. I like Sanfona Senchida because it's very well known and it's quite easy to play. It sounds good on the cello. Oh, okay. okay. Can, you, so, can yeah. you play that? Of course. <laughs> Places. Mm -hmm. Is are you the only English one there? No. <laughs> are you the only foreigner? Like, uh, like are you are you and other English people and the Brazilians, or are there other nationalities? Um, I'd say it was about a third Brazilian, a third English, a third other yeah other nationalities. Yeah. And when in Brazil, did you find did you try to find any places uh, or like let's say pubs, English pubs in Brazil? Um, Fish and chips in Brazil. <laughs> no. no. Did you try to set it up? One. <laughs> no. That was an idea. No. <laughs> Fish and chips in Brazil. Let's <laughs> say <laughs> peixe com batatinha. Oh, it sounds good. It, it sounds, sounds much good. better in Portuguese. <laughs> yeah. But I tell you what, they don't like the vinegar idea on, on chips. Oh really? But vinegar's great on chips. Yeah, I love yeah. that. Yeah. And, are you online? Can people find you online? Yeah, absolutely. I'm on Facebook or Facebookie. <laughs> <laughs> um, Fred the Cello. Fred the Cello, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please comment below if you know any for hot places also. Then we can recommend to Christina. Come on. And uh, <laughs> and also you can go there maybe and meet there. Yeah, uh, everyone. that would be great. Brazilian for hot thing going on there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that would be great. And also um, comment below if you know any music they can it would be nice to be playing in the cello then i can recommend to christina what do yes, you think please yeah cool. that's great yeah. please do thank you <laughs> can you play another song for us and then if people want to listen more to you playing and see videos also they can go to facebook for the cello yeah that would be yeah? great <laughs> okay thank you very much for thank you Rafa.